In this lecture, we are going to study about namespaces. So, in the previous lecture, we saw how input and output are implemented in C++ programming. And there we saw the syntax that we use for C in and C out. That is for taking input and for giving out outputs. So, keeping that syntax in mind, we are going to study about namespaces. So, let us see what are these namespaces and what is it used for. So, the first question that we have to answer is what is actually a namespace? So, let's see. A namespace is a declarative region that provides a scope to the identifiers inside it. Now, what do we mean by this? So, it is a declarative region. So, it is a region and it will provide a scope to the identifiers that are inside that scope. Now, what are the identifiers that we are talking about? So, identifiers means they can be the names of types or functions or variables, etc. So, for these kind of identifiers, the namespace is a declarative region and that region will provide the scope to that. So, don't worry if this definition looks a little confusing. It will become clear as we move ahead. So, they are used to organize code into logical groups and to prevent name collisions that can occur especially when the code base includes multiple libraries. So, in the previous lecture when we took the example of input and output, we saw that whenever we were trying to write an output on the screen, we used std and then we used the scope operator and then we wrote c out and then we wrote what we wanted to print out on the screen. So, we saw that it was written as std c out. Now, what does that std mean? So, by std we mean that c out is declared inside the standard library. So, std stands for the standard library. So, we are telling the compiler that use the c out that is defined inside that standard library. So, there can be cases when we have multiple libraries in our code and there can be different type of c outs. So, let's say that there is another type of c out that is defined inside another library which performs in a little different way. But we want to use the c out that is from the standard library and that works in the way we want that is for displaying the output on the screen. So, we are just specifying which is the c out that we want to use. So, namespace is a region that gives the scope to the identifier. So, now I hope it has become a little clearer. Alright, so we were talking about the standard namespace or the std namespace. So, let's talk a little more about that. So, the standard namespace which is written as std namespace. So, let's take an example program. So, here we have a program which is a complete program. So, here we have the header and then we have the main function. And then here we see that we are just asking the user to enter any number. So, we use standard c out. So, std, this is the scope operator as I said and c out. And then we are just declaring one variable that is n1 and it is of the type integer and the initial value is equal to 0. Now, whatever the user enters, we are accepting it or storing it in the variable n1. So, we are using std c in and then we are just trying to output the value the user has entered. So, again we use std c out. And we are saying that the entered number is n1. So, this is just a simple program to take an input from the user and display what the user has entered. Okay. Now, here we notice that we are using std, std, std again. So, we notice that we use std c in and std c out instead of simply writing c in or c out. Now, why is that? The prefix std and the scope operator indicates that the name c out and c in are defined inside the namespace named std. So, std is the namespace or it is the library within which the c out and c in are defined. So, we are telling the compiler that I want to use the c out and c in that is defined inside the standard library or this std namespace. So, that is what we mean by namespace. Now, I hope you got an idea of why this is called the scope operator. Because this cout is defined within the scope of the standard library. So, we are saying that use a cout within the scope of this standard library or the standard namespace. So, that is what we mean here. Now, the problem with this is that whenever we are writing cout or c in or whenever we want to use something from this standard namespace, we have to explicitly mention it like this by using this std and this scope operator. We cannot simply write cout or c in. So, that is a problem that we face. So, in order to avoid that, we will see what are the solutions that we can have. So, for that, we are going to discuss about namespace using declarations. So, let's see what do we mean by this. 
A using declaration lets us use a name from a namespace without qualifying the name with a namespace name colon colon prefix. Now we are going to make use of something called the using declaration. So this keyword is important using. So by making use of this using declaration, we won't have to explicitly mention again the namespace before using that name that we want to use. So let's see some example. So here the syntax is using namespace and the scope operator and name. So let's see an example to understand this. So here we take an example again. So this is the same program that we saw in the previous slide. So we are asking the user to enter any number and we store it into N1 and we just display it out again. Okay. So here we see that we are using just Cout. We are not using STD Cout. Why? Because we have mentioned it in the beginning of the program itself that we are using the C out from the standard library or the standard namespace. So I mention it beforehand. And how do I do it? By making use of the using, U-S-I-N-G, using keyword. So I say that we are using the C out from the standard namespace. So if I do this, I don't have to type std again before this C out. So I can simply write C out and the compiler knows that we are using the C out from the std namespace. Okay, so let us try to run this program using VS code and see what will be the output. Okay, so here I have copied that same program here. So we are using the using std C out here and then I'm just writing C out. So let's see if this program will compile correctly or if it will throw any error. So I'll go to the terminal, I'll open a new terminal and the name of my file is ns.cpp. Okay, so let me compile this program by typing g++ space ns.cpp. Okay, so it has compiled successfully and the output file is a.exe. So let's try to run it and see. So dot slash a.exe and then, okay, so it is running successfully. So it asked me to enter any number. Let me enter three, enter. So the entered number is 3. So this program is working correctly. So even though we did not write std c out here, just by writing c out also it works because I already mentioned that we are using the c out from the standard namespace. Okay, now let's try to remove this std from this c in and see what will happen. Now I have written c out here and now I am writing c in here. Okay, so let's save it and let us run this program. So I come back to the terminal here and I will type g++ ns.cpp and I press enter and here we see that it is throwing an error. So it is saying that c in was not declared in this scope. So we are saying c in but it does not know where is c in. So we have to say that c in is from which library or from which namespace. I can either write std c in as it was written before or I can write using std c in just like we wrote for c out here. So let me do that. Okay. I write using std c in now. So we are telling the compiler that whenever I use c in in this program, it is from this std namespace. Now let's compile this program again and see if it will work. So let me just clear the terminal. There is a command called clear in order to clear up the terminal window. So let me run the program again. G++ ns.cpp and it compiled successfully. Now there are no errors and let me run the output file and we see that it is compiling successfully. So we see that if we mention which namespace we are using from the beginning of the program itself, then we don't have to specify the namespace again and again while writing the program. Okay, so that is about the using declaration. Okay, so this was our example. Now let's take another example here. So here we see that we are making use of the end line as well. So here end line also is there and we have seen that when we usually write end line, we write std and scope operator and end line. But here I am specifying that I am using the end line from the std namespace. So I have specified all the namespaces for C out, C in and end line. So because of that, when I write this program, I don't have to explicitly mention the namespaces again. So I don't need to write std here, here, nor here. So this program is also correct and it will compile correctly. Okay, so one more problem that we can face here is that we have to specify for each and every name that we use, which is a namespace. So C out, C in and end line is written. Now, if there are other things that you want to use, you have to again mention them. So in order to solve that problem, we can use something known as the using namespace std. So here, what we are doing is that we are going to write this using namespace std. Now if we write this, what it means is that 
we are using the standard namespace and whatever names are going to be used in this program it is from the standard namespace that is what it mentions so i don't have to explicitly mention that i am using c out from std then c in from std and n line from std if i just write this single line it just implies that whatever names i am using here are from the namespace std so we can just write c out n line and c in just like that without explicitly mentioning from which library or which namespace they belong so that is about the using namespace std but one problem that we can face here is that if we are making use of multiple libraries that means like if we are going to use c out on c in let's say from some other user defined libraries or some other libraries other than std in those cases it can cause problems because we mentioned here that it is going to make use of only the std namespace so that could be a problem but that is advanced level if you are making use of other libraries but here in our course we are going to mostly make use of the c out c in and names from the standard library itself so there won't be any problem if we use this as well so anyway let's go to vs code and write this also in our code and see if it compiles successfully okay so we come back to this same program and now instead of writing all this using std c out c in and all we will just write one line that is using namespace std all right and i save this program and here i am just making use of c out c in so here we are not having n line so anyway let's put one n line also over here now let's compile this program so we see that there are no errors it compiled successfully and if we run it we see that it is running successfully as well okay so we said that we are using the namespace std so it knows that c out c in and n line everything is from the standard namespace and it just uses them directly and we don't have to explicitly mention them all right so that is how we can make use of the using namespace std so with that i hope you understood what is the meaning of namespace and how namespaces are used to specify from which namespace or library we are making use of different names or objects so with this i hope the concept of namespace is clear to you thank you for watching and see you in the next one